Audio description, Room 7. In Room 7, a collection of small gilt-framed paintings hang on white walls, all part of the collection of Richard Glynn Vivian. Many of these depict religious scenes. If we were to continue through into the next part of this long room, we would discover many more items from his extensive collections. These include ceramics, a boule table, a Japanese screen, miniatures, a book of poetry written by Glyn Vivian and a few prints by Hogarth. The painting we're going to describe, a full-length portrait, does not form part of Glyn Vivian's collection, but is by an artist whose work he greatly admired, and shows how his legacy lives on. Dominating this large oil painting, which is slightly higher than it is wide, 185 and a half centimetres high and 152 centimetres wide, is a finely dressed young woman, the young lady of the title. The title is Portrait of a Young Lady by Bartholomeus van der Helst. The painting hangs within a richly carved, light wood frame. The young lady stands just to the right of the centre, the light falling across her, the background of the room in more muted tones. She appears to be in her twenties or so, dressed in the clothes of the wealthy members of the 1600s, heavy silks and brocades. She is pictured facing us, her strawberry blonde hair, so finely painted, we feel we could touch its softness. It falls to her shoulders and is pinned back from a high rounded forehead held in place with jewelled and pearled pins. Her pale face is oval, her skin young and smooth, a rose blush on her cheeks. Her eyes are rounded dark blue under soft eyebrows. Her nose is straight and her rosebud lips a dark pink. She looks steadily out towards us. Perhaps a smile plays about her lips. Light seeps in from the left, emphasising the whiteness of the sheer fabric of her upper bodice and of her large sheer collar with its lace trim. The collar falls in folds across her shoulders and her upper arms with matching lace cuffs. Her gown is layered, the outer layer a burgundy brown with a pattern of silver flower shapes, each one carefully and distinctly painted. The underlayer is blue with a sheen of silver, the same pattern but with smaller flowers. At the high waist are two rosettes in red and gold, above what could be a rounded belly pressing against the fabric. The young lady wears gold drop earrings with three ropes of pearls around her neck. Bracelets of pearls adorn her left wrist and she seems to be undoing another rope of pearls from around her right wrist. Her right foot peeps out from under the length of her gown in a golden jewelled slipper. Near to her foot, a dog sleeps. Brown and white, short-haired, it's painted in great detail. The softness of the white hair around its neck seeming as if it would part if we blew against it. Its eyes are closed, its shiny black snout and long muzzle rest on the floor. Behind the young lady, stretching across most of the width of the painting, is a heavily brocaded curtain in dull gold with large tassels, again so minutely painted one can almost feel the threads within the tassels. 
the floor is cream and black rectangles, perhaps of marble. To the left of the young lady, a table is covered with a velvet cloth with a thick fringe. It's a deep, sumptuous golden brown. A small amount of light falls across the table, picking out and being reflected off a tall and fancy silver candlestick with the stub of an unlit candle. Also on the table, we find a watch on a golden chain, a small golden box a little bigger than a pill box, a small brush with a golden handle, two gold jewelled rings and a jewellery box or casket. This is in black velvet with gold braid, a golden chain and another string of pearls escaping from under its lid. Behind the box, again painted in exquisite detail, is a piece of fabric, perhaps a cloak or a throw, in pinky red brocade with a trim of delicately soft white fur. In the shadows to the far left, beyond the table, is the dark wooden frame of a mirror, in which is the reflection of part of the collar of the gown. What strikes us most, perhaps, about this intimate and tender portrait is the level of detail, which renders the textures so very realistic. The label copy reads, Portrait of a young lady, Bartholomeus van der Helst, 1613-1670, the portrait is dated around about 1640 to 1645 and it's an oil on canvas.